With the explosion of snow bike popularity over the past five years, I think we all knew it was only a matter of time before X Games added it to their list of competition in some form. One of the most interesting and diverse competitors among the impressive and varied group of snow bike racers competing at X Games this year is last year's X Games gold winner, Cody Matichuk. We caught up with Cody while he was shooting some footage for a Monster Energy project to learn a little bit more about who he is, the incredible list of sports that he's been successful in, and most importantly, what it takes to win an X Games gold medal. So I started riding bikes when I was three years old. As soon as I could ride a pedal bike, my dad got me a, a PW50. Just worked my way up through the motocross ranks. And then I had a crossover year with some injuries, as well as I was also racing mini street bikes at the same time, like a TTR 125 with street tires on it. In the crossover year, we were riding more and more street biking. And 2008, I had a choice to make, whether I was going to continue down the dirt bike path or street bike racing and ended up going with road racing. 2008 made my debut on the, the Amateur SV650 Cup. Won that championship, backed it up in 2009 with the Amateur 600 Series Cup. Turned pro when I was 16 in 2010, racing 600 and 1000. And then 2011 did the XR1200 Cup, it was a Spec Series Harley Davidson Cup. I was like 17, 18 that year. I'm wrapped up a second and retired from street bike racing. At, at the age of 18, went to the drilling rigs and was out of racing for a few years, actually. Just got back into racing, seeing motocross, back on Yamahas, uh, doing some Western Nationals as well as provincial racing. At the same time, the snow bike thing was sparking and going into the 2016 uh, winter, I started trying to sell my sled. I was sledding at the time. Sold my sled, had a, a snow bike kit on the next day and was off to the mountains and loved every minute of it. Really saw the potential of where it could go, but never really thought about racing them. Just thought about filming and, and doing the cool things, uh, the sled films and backcountry and pushing what snow bikes could do there. I think a big part of it is it's not ADD, but like I, I cannot do the same thing for, for a long time. I get bored. Winter is it's half a year, and then the rest of the year I either go dirt biking, base jumping, and it, it stays fresh. So every time it starts snowing again, I'm, I'm ready for it. And I want that snow, and I want to be in the mountains or on the track. I think what's even more interesting than all the things Cody has done is how he sees all of those things coming together to make him faster on a snow bike. All the different avenues of racing and, and being able to take from the, the street bikes and the motocross and, and then everything else too, from mountain bikes, uh, rode bowls for a couple of years in high school, base jump, skydive, it all kind of has little elements that help your brain, your eyes, everything adapt to this new sport Cody doesn't approach anything he does lightly methodical would be the best way to describe how Cody approaches training and preparing for X Games competition my training usually starts in September. Completely cut out alcohol, no beer, no nothing, not a glass of wine at dinner. And I slowly start getting into the gym. By October, I'm in the gym pretty much every day. My October, November is kind of that time where you are you don't have snow, you can't really go ride. I spend that time at home um, nailing down my nutrition, sleep schedules, gym times, and get my body into a spot where it's manageable. I could definitely do more throughout the year to make that part a little easier, but I have my my, my half a year off and the half a year that I work super hard. That's my balance. Everyone's got to kind of find that. So that's what I do. Obviously, physical conditioning and bike prep are the most important aspects of being ready to race at X Games, but Cody is very clear that a long list of excellent sponsors are what make all of this possible.
obviously there's there's some big money and there's some some big name brands but the the ones i really value the key key players is the guys that have believed in me people like uh, my dad is is rmr suspension see he's been there from the start we've been creating snowbike suspension that works both uh backcountry and and on the track and i think we got the world's best right now it's won the last two years now and try and go win again And then Yamaha Canada with uh, Cycleworks Foothills has, has been there the whole time as well, Ray's Motorsports. This year, more recent, now we got uh, Monster on board and, and Scott Sports World. I'm really excited about that. We're gonna start a nice relationship um, with some big companies and and move forward with that, so that's cool. Some of the companies that have been there from the start, like like Yamaha Motor Canada, Cycleworks Foothills, Yeti, Ray's Motorsports, RMR Suspensions that, that have we're there at the first qualifiers, getting us to X Games. The guys that, that believe in me, it's, it's cool um, to bring those to this next chapter. Now we're with Monster Energy, Scott Sports. So we're gonna, we're gonna go and try and win it again for them. Now we got some, some really big tier sponsors. We got some guys that have been with, with us through the whole journey, a bike that's ready to go. Pretty stoked to see what, what this winter brings. After X Games, you'll find us in the mountains on, on my Sidewinder and on my backcountry bike. It's winter, it's playtime, it's, uh, I'm stoked. The base of any snow bike is obviously the bike itself, and Cody has nothing but praise for his YZ450F, but he also spends a considerable amount of time on a sled in the backcountry as well. There's a, there's a few things that really make the Yamaha the best snow bike out there. Number one is is the intake. It's a grid location. Once you figure out an intake that works, it, it's out of the way of the exhaust. You're not breathing in humidity. To experience the full power of the YZ450 and the torque that it brings, which is an awesome pair for snow biking and what you need in both long climbs in the trees or on a racetrack. The suspension is it's spring forks. You get everyone else trying to convert their stuff over to spring forks anyways. Ours comes with it, it's tunable. It's just, it's a very user-friendly bike. You don't have to touch it, it works. Uh, Yamaha is world-renowned for how their motors perform because uh, they last, they work good. It's, it's definitely the best snow bike out there. You don't usually have a lot of sales going into the winter and now uh, dealerships are bringing in new bikes and you're seeing more bikes sold at this time of year or in October, September, which is a really, odd time for, for bikes to be sold. You're reaching not only moto guys, but also snowmobile guys converting, motocross guys that want that extra bike to, to convert into a snow bike and leave it snow bike full time. Can also run their, their bikes both winter and summer. My backcountry bike last year was also my motocross bike all year. They work great. Snow biking's not hard on it. It's good for the motor. It holds a load on the motor the whole time, which I believe is way better than someone on a motocross track redline and just bouncing off the rev limiter all the time. That's not good for motors. Last year was the first year that I started messing around on the Yamaha Sidewinder and had a lot of fun. Um, the, the thing works good, it's got a lot of power. It's very maneuverable. You can get it in the tight trees, pull long things, jump it, go upside down. It's, it pretty much does everything. And, and after riding a season on that, you jump on a buddy's two stroke and it's just not as fun. I, there's no way I would go back. So we're getting into our second year of, of having a sled full time for the full season. If I'm not filming snow bike stuff, I'm, I'm usually in the backcountry on my sled because it's, it's just too much fun. After a whirlwind 2018 season, no one knows exactly what the future will hold for Cody and his team in 2019. One thing is for sure though, his drive and motivation is to add another X Games gold medal to his trophy case. And it seems to me, when Cody Matichuk sets his mind to something, there isn't a force on earth that can stop him. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and then subscribe to Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel that's constantly being updated with fresh content.